Welcome to another Magic Moment Monday. Today is aligned with what seems like the theme of the month, which is family. Um, I'm a very proud Lebanese American, also a very proud Irish American, but this month is really about my Lebanese heritage inside. Just got back from an amazing family reunion. We've done 89 annual family reunions. I think you saw last week I did the, the, uh, the episode in the sweatshirt, which was cool. But today for Magic Moment Monday, I really wanna to talk to you guys about why it was so special for me to be able to give a TED talk. TEDx talk here in New York City, TEDx NYT. It's actually my second TEDx talk that I've given, so that in and of itself is a big honor. But why it was important to me, this specific talk, was because I really got to dig deep into learning more about my grandparents, my great grandparents, my great uncle, and the work that they did when they came to this country from Lebanon as entrepreneurs who started a business around a local grocery store. And I wanna share, first of all, the memento is this little pin tag thingy that I wore the day that I gave the talk. But what I said in the talk, which I think was more important to me was, my grandparents and my great uncle had a local grocery store where, and it was a very important staple in the neighborhood and in the community. In fact, when my grandfather died, uh, no, I'm sorry, when my great uncle died, we received a letter from a woman and she had said that for two years, I believe it was two years or just under two years, my grandfather and my uncle basically set food aside every single night for this woman and her husband who both were unemployed and they had no money to pay for food for the family. And that was a really big deal. And that kept them sustained, that kept them charged. They eventually went on to find jobs and eventually paid back the grocery store. Um, but I think that you know the fact that they used something as sort of unsexy as a family grocery store to literally change people's lives has been a huge motivation for me and how I view customer service. And I hope that you'll go watch the TED Talk um, called Your Digital Grandfather because it really is exciting to me that in this digital age, there is still so much old school, service driven, I care so much about my customer mentality that if you can implement into what you're doing today will really help you win. And for me, it's a way for me to stay connected. You know, I, I said in the talk, every time someone sends me a message on this device, I actually view this as my virtual local grocery store. Every time someone sends me a message or every time somebody asks me a question or seeks my advice or guidance or insight, I think of them. I think of how they would have treated people that literally walked through their door. It's exciting to me that now we live in a world where you don't actually have to have a physical brick and mortar in order to change people's lives. Um, and, and so every time I get a message, I think about them, how they would have treated their customers. And I try to shake hands using this, use this as a gateway into the hearts and souls and minds and lives of the people that trust me enough to give me their business, their friendship, their time, their energy. So when I shared that message at TED, I was honoring my family, I was honoring all of the things that happen in a digital world, but still maintaining that heritage, still maintaining that old school customer service that I think is at the crux of all important, beautiful, and good relationships. Thank you for watching another Magic Moment Monday.